families. Welcome to episode 21 of Virtual Companion Camp. Today we are going to make a pet rock. Okay, guys, I have a bunch of cool uh, some rocks over here that I already made. So let's get to it. All right, so the first one I'm going to teach you guys how to make is a bumblebee. So what I did to get started is I took any plain rock. Um, these can be found outside, anywhere, and you guys can go collect some rocks. I did wipe it off with water and wash it with soap and water first. And then I painted the whole rock with a white base coat. And then that made the uh, rock really bright when I painted it. This one does not have the white undercoat, so you can see it's still, it's a little bit more dull. Okay, then you have all your paints and make sure when you're painting to wear um, something to protect your clothes like this apron or an old t-shirt um, so that way you don't get paint, permanent paint on yourself if your paint is permanent. All right, so all we're gonna do is get some black and make some stripes for the bumblebee. This is gonna be. And pet rocks are a fun way for you to get creative at home. And you can do this with your whole family, with your parents. Now, I have water right here, and I'm going to clean my brush and dab it on the paper towel and until it runs clear. And that way I can switch to another color. But right now I'm done painting my bumblebee. And if I have some googly eyes, but if you do not have googly eyes, you can simply use um, a Sharpie to draw their eyes. All right. Let's stick this little guy's eyes on here. And what's fun about rocks uh, pet rocks is you can really use your imagination to create any type of animal that you want and I also have some pipe cleaner here and with the pipe cleaner I'm going to make their antenna so to make their antenna I'm just gonna cut um, a small piece and then I'm gonna cut it in half all right there's one and then I'm gonna cut it in half so it looks about even And then I'm going to curl the ends like this, like a little candy cane shape to make the antenna. So to attach the antenna to the bumblebee, I'm going to use hot glue. If you um, want to use hot glue, make sure that you have somebody to assist you because remember it is very hot. So I put two little dots where I want the antenna to be. And then I'm not even touching my finger close to the hot glue, so I make sure I'm not getting burned. I just let it sit there, and it's going to dry really fast. And that's the little bumblebee. Now, to make bumblebee wings, um, you're going to get another pipe cleaner. And you can use the whole pipe cleaner. This time, I'm going to uh, loop it together take the edges and twist them, and this is gonna secure them together. Now, I'm gonna take the opposite side, kind of make like a heart, and then connect it down. To connect it, I place the twisted part over the middle loop, and then I'm just going to bend it over one time, just like that. Oops, I had some black paint on me, and that's it. Those are the wings. Now, to attach the wings, I'm just gonna make one dot in the middle, one big dot. There, I got a lot of glue, so I know it's going to hold this big, the big wings. And there you have it. There's your little bumblebee guy. And this is so cool to play with. You know, it's going to buzz around, drink some water, and go hang out with his other little bumblebee friend. Aren't they cute? <laughs> and these make great gifts. I know Mother's Day is coming up. Um, so that would be a great Mother's Day gift for your mom um, if you want to make some for her too. 
and she can put them you know on her desk when she goes back to work all right the next one I'm gonna make is this cool snail guy hello <laughs> all right so I have another rock and these are cool if you don't have a perfectly cir circular rock like this one it would still make a cool um, snail shell whatever angle you would like so I took a piece of cardboard from a box so here's a regular uh, shipping box I just cut uh, I just tore off one of these little flaps I cut it in half and now I'm going to uh, measure it to make sure that there's enough room for its head like this and so I know it's gonna fold about here now I'm going to draw where I'm going to cut the eyes, where I'm going to cut for the eyes. So I'll just draw one line right here. And then I'll draw two lines up. And I'll know to cut down to make some cool antenna for this snail. All right. And if you need help cutting, don't be afraid to ask one of your siblings or anybody in your house for help cutting. If you guys can hear, there's some birds chirping. Those are our budgies, which we're gonna meet in a second. We actually rescued, uh, got some birds surrendered to us. And there was a woman who was actually selling them at a flea market, which is actually illegal. So we, she got overwhelmed with this illegal business of selling these birds. They're pretty cute. All right, guys. So. If you have googly eyes, you can use googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, don't worry about it. Just draw a set of eyes for yourself. All right? And now I'm going to put a little smile on him. That's cute. All right. So to secure the snail shell to his body, I'm going to put uh, some glue here. And remember, if you're not using hot glue, that's okay, but you will have to probably hold the rock in place until it dries. And then I'm gonna do one more dot right here to hold the head up. And then you can decorate the snail's body, or the snail's rock uh, shell however you want. And there he is. He's gonna join his little snail friend. And um, you could have even painted the brown cardboard first. I didn't. I kind of liked how it looked, showing that it's cardboard, but you can definitely paint it. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show you how to make is a fish. So I actually already made a pond right here. And what I did was I took a paper plate I painted it blue, I let it dry, and then I took some plastic wrap and just um, put it over the, the plate to make it look shiny like a pond. I cut some cardboard pieces in circles and I cut a little pizza slice out to make lily pads and then I drew a little flower dot on top. So I took this pretty irregular shaped rock and painted it white first and then orange. All of my rocks have a white undercoat and then if you guys recognize this, this is from an onion bag. There's probably some other vegetables that come in here. And I'm going to put the rock inside of this um, old onion bag. And I'm going to secure it with some pipe cleaner. If you guys don't have pipe cleaner, you can use a rubber band, a hair, an old hair tie, anything like that. And then I'm just going to cut off the rest to secure it. And this is going to be its fish scales. It looks pretty close to fish scales to me. Now I'm gonna cut here at the edge where I want the tail to end. There we go. 
And then here, I'm gonna use this extra pipe cleaner. I'm gonna cut it in half and maybe make a little fishes um, thin. There we go. That's cute. All right, so this is my koi fish. And fish have eyes on the sides of their head so they can see any prey approaching or anything like that. And he's all ready to go swimming. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That would be an awesome present for a Mother's Day gift. This is something just special to look at. Or you could make a bunch of other fish to go in there. If you have some small rocks, you could put some small rocks at the bottom of the pond. All right. So the next thing I'm going to make one more. Oh, so here um, I wanted to show you guys this. Now, if you guys have any packages coming to your house and have this weird um, packing material, I cut off a little piece right here and I turned it into a pet rock house. So um, if you have any packages coming, I know we all have more packages coming to us, you can make um, some cool little house for your pet rock, like this guy over here. <laughs> all right. So I wanted to show you guys too how to make this cool little pom-pom uh, head. And it's really easy. All you need is some yarn. And then I have a, a good piece of yarn here. And what I'm gonna do is take my piece fingers, hold one end with my thumb, and then loop it around a bunch of times. All right, that looks good. Then I'm gonna cut it, but I'm not going to let go yet. I'm gonna take another piece of string and cut a small piece. With this small piece, I'm going to lay it out flat and then I'm gonna place this uh, loops over it. I'm taking the edges and I'm gonna tie a tight, tight knot in the middle and then I'm gonna tie a knot one more time. Okay, next I have um, some loops here on both sides and I'm gonna cut in the middle along the loops. Okay, and I'm gonna flip it over and do the same to the other side. All right, and there's my little pom-pom. So I could have made it thicker by um, adding a little bit more string and you can shape it however you want if you want to cut off some of the ends that are sticking out Then you just take a dollop of glue and stick it on there and maybe give him a cool face Let's see if I can give him a cute little face See There he's already That's a cute little pet rock buddy and they can all play together and can spend time, you know, making your own toys with the stuff you have right around your house. All right, guys, I hope you like making those cute little pet rocks. So now we're going to check out our budgies. These are um, small birds, which small birds are actually uh, categorized under uh, parakeets, and here they are. So we have um, over 80 of these tiny birds. And we have all different kinds of colors. They do come in a variety of colors, yellow, green, blue, and white. And if you look closely, um, you can identify looking at their nostrils at the tops of their beak if they're male or female. As you can see this white one right here, she has a pinkish nose and it's white around her nostrils and that is a female. The one in front of her with the blue body, he has blue color around his nostrils and that identifies him as a male. So if you're trying to 
see um, if these are female or male birds, you can just look easily and identify them by looking at their nostrils. This one right here is uh, another female. She has white around her nose, and so does the other one behind her. And we rescued, like we said, um, over 80 of these budgies. And they were living in cramped cages, pretty filthy conditions, and were being sold illegally in flea markets. And you don't know when you're buying from a illegal breeder how bad the conditions are, um, if they're going to be sick when you get them or not. Um, a lot of these birds that we have here are still relatively young and we can tell um, their age by looking at their nose color, um, which is great. So you can get a young little bird and these will live between five to 10 years. So they'll make a great little companion. Um, they should be kept in groups. So at least get two together so that they don't get lonely. And they bond really well with their owners. So you can be able to take them out, let them crawl around on you, feed them seeds out of your hand. Aren't they cool to look at? There they are. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we'll see you guys this Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.